Is this $120 laser any good? Let's find out. I'm Ashley and this is Elsa and this is your build. So let's jump into this. So Acmer sent me their little laser here and honestly, it's super cute. I'm just not quite sure about the cutting and engraving capability, but so let's unbox this laser and see what it can do. This thing is very nicely packaged. And this thing feels so small. We have our power cord, our computer cord. Ooh, it's purple on the inside, that's cool. Tool set, a piece of test wood. I really love that they have included safety glasses because not all laser companies do that and I think more should. The laser head, a cleaning cloth, and the laser itself. I seriously cannot get over how small this laser is. This definitely wins the cute award, that's for sure. It's so lightweight, so I'm honestly a little skeptical about how well this is actually gonna work. But so let's put it together. Comes with a piece of cardboard for testing as well as some metal business cards, which is really nice. There's also this piece of acrylic in the tool bag. And so I wonder if this has something to do with aligning or what. So far though, in the book, there's no constructions on actually putting it all together. Maybe it just comes together. Maybe I don't have to do anything. So your maximum engraving area is gonna be 130 millimeters squared. I'm assuming it comes just fully assembled, which I guess that's pretty cool considering it's such a little laser. But let's remove this uh, tape here. I'm just checking that everything looks like it's plugged in and it looks like it is. So I think the only thing we have to plug in is the laser head module. All right, so this is definitely the focal plate. So to determine our focal distance, we just put it on there with the material. And so it has this really nice dovetail that you can slide in here. And I think I figured out this screw is the stop. That way we can tighten the head in place. So let's just drop this down here with our little plates. And then I will tighten up this screw. And it seems like this thing moves quite well. And as far as setup goes, we only need to plug in this one cord. But so now we can connect it to Lightburn and set this up. All right, we are here in Lightburn and I have plugged in the laser to my computer. So I'm gonna come over here to devices and I'm going to click find my laser and see what happens. So we'll hit next and then it's gonna scan for my device. All right, it looks like it has been found. So let's do add device. Um, I'm gonna call it Acmer S1 and click next. Click next and that looks good. So let's finish it and then let's select it and click OK. All right, so now we can select my device. All right, we got our little engravable area. Let's hit home and see what happens. All right, so it came with this little piece of plywood. So I'm gonna put that down and then I'm gonna move the laser head right above it. And then we are gonna take this two millimeter block here. And this is what we're gonna use to set the focal distance, I believe. And then we are going to loosen this screw, let that fall to there, tighten it up. You don't wanna to go too tight. And then we can move it back. And then now that should be in focus. Let's move this to the center and then we can put our origin in the center. And then I think, I think I need to then come up here and click set origin, I hope. Um, can we frame it? For this, let's do a fill. Let's do 60 power and speed can be 1750. See how long it's gonna take? It's gonna take eight minutes, wow, okay. Let's just hope for the best, I think hit start all right and it looks like it's attempting to do something but that's not bad i mean it's way too light because i did the wrong settings but that looks pretty cool actually all right the next thing that we are going to try and engrave on is this metal business card so let's put our focus block in there 
loosen it up let it touch the plate and then we can tighten it back up then we can remove the focus block and i'm going to try and center that centering this can be kind of hard that looks pretty good i'm just guessing on these settings but let's frame this out yeah so let's hit start so it actually looks like it's working pretty well. The fact that this is a $100 laser is kind of crazy to me. All right, it just did this aluminum business card. Let's clean it up. And that looks so cool. So should you buy this small laser? First of all, it's super small and cute, so yes, you should buy it. Um, it's roughly $100, I think it's about $130, and it's honestly not a bad little beginner laser, especially if it's a hobby you wanna get into and you're not quite sure if you'll like it or not. Getting something small like this might be better rather than just jumping in and getting like a $500 or a $1,000 laser machine, but this one's actually not that bad. I was pretty impressed with it. When I first opened it, I definitely thought it was a laser for ants, but if you guys wanna pick one up, I have an affiliate link down below that you can purchase it from and let me know what else we should make with this little guy. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya!